Welcome back my YouTube family. In today's video, we're going to be taking this ordinary wall and make it into this magnificent geometric 3D wall art. I don't know what you call it, but it was just one piece of three quarter inch MDF ripped into two inch sections. Got about 23 pieces out of that. And everything is based on a 45 real easy project. Stick around, I'll show you exactly how we did it. These are the tools that I use for this project. A level, framing square, tape measure, chalk line, carpenter square, wood glue, stud finder, 16 gauge brad nailer pencil, and then I use an inch and three quarter inch um, brad nails. I do understand that a lot of people don't have access to a table saw, but there's this jig that you can actually buy to put on your circular saw that'll make really straight cuts, um, go all the way from one inch to 23 inches. You just attach it to your circular saw, set your gauge up and just get to ripping. So no issues there. The biggest thing is that you definitely want your cut straight to get that real clean look. But hey, if you don't have a jig, if you don't have a circular saw, you can still find someone with the table saw. Um, just have them to rip that wood and whatever your thickness is, we went with two inch, you can do three inch, you can do an inch and a quarter, but just have someone rip those slats. That way you can come back and the only thing you would need is a miter saw. Even though I do have a table saw, it's just a lot easier for me to use the jig to rip my um, MDF down to 10 and a half sections. That way when I go to my table saw, it's a lot more manageable with smaller pieces. Now that I've cut the bigger 4x8 MDF into smaller, more manageable pieces, it was just time for me to set my table saw up for 2 inch rips and get to ripping. This stuff is pretty dusty, so would recommend you wear a mask. And as you can see, I'm getting blown off from all of the dust that I have on me. So yeah, it's a mess, it's a cleanup, but it's worth it. After removing the existing wall art, um, there were some holes and nails and stuff like that in the wall. I didn't even take time to fix those. You can, you should, but I was so excited about getting a project going on, I just went with it. With the cuts, you're either gonna do a 45 or a straight cut. Maybe a straight cut on both ends. Of course, it's, that's the only two cuts, a 45 and a straight cut. Uh, with the wall, I wanna make sure that I find the studs, mark those out, because they're only two inch slats and so I don't really have to glue them on the wall or anything like that. Just need to chalk my lines and uh, make sure I know where my studs are at. That way when I put the wood on the wall, the nails actually go into wood, therefore to stay on the wall. I'm just using my scrap to notch around this ledge that way I can look like I have a continuous picture frame all the way around the wall and it won't have a break in it which in my opinion would have threw off the look 
Here I'm using my level to make sure that my board is straight and it's also plumb. So there's no separations in the corners. You want to make sure you glue those miters. Um, that way over time you don't develop a gap. So that glue will keep that nice and tight. Here we are snapping the line from corner to corner so we can get a center mark. That way when we get ready to start um, putting our slats in, we can make sure that it's one side is not heavier than the next side. Those that follow this channel know that I will overbuild or I will calculate. Uh, I will have some type of drawing, some type of plan before I go into a project. But with this one, we just kept it fun. I took that eight foot slat and cut 45s on either end and just kind of like gauge where the first piece would go. And that's where we will take off from everything else. And it's important to make sure that those ends are flush. Uh, that way you're not fighting it all the way through. And this is really a design by gold, so we kind of like brainstorming our distance between each slat. And so I did a little bit of math here, but um, what we came up with was eight inches. Eight inches between each slat. So I cut two eight inch pieces and I used those eight inch pieces throughout the whole project to maintain that spacing between each slat. Here again, you can see I'm using that eight inch piece to mark the uh, 45. And on the other side, the same thing, the straight cut. So it'll be a straight cut to a 45. Measure that, cut it on the chop saw. And that's literally the process throughout the whole project here. This is where the framing square come in handy. Um, I'm using a framing square to make sure that I have a perfect 90. That way again, as I'm going along, I'm not fighting this and all of the joints line up perfectly and really don't need to use caulk because everything is a tight fit. And here I'm using a chalk line um, just to make sure that when I nail this slot on the wall, that it's straight as well. Therefore, you have that 90, you have straightness, you have your eight inch um, spacers, and the project just keeps going. It's, it's easy. This is where that center mark um, came in handy because you know we wanted to make sure that you know we kept things interesting and we also did a little planning to make sure that our electrical outlets didn't wasn't in the way so you can see the one on the left falls in between the slats and then on the one on the right falls in between the slats so 
Um, yeah, so far everything is going great. We love the design and we're just going to keep, keep going with it. Although Sharon didn't mind, this part right here, it just was a little too busy for me. So I did um, take those out and changed up the direction here. You can see how easy it was to pop those out. Um, I just put one vertical in and in my opinion, um, it just looks a lot better because it's just not so busy. Again, being excited, we went right into the painting stage. Um, no caulking, again, because everything was pretty much well tight, and we used a satin finish, and the color we chose was rock bottom. It took about two and a half coats. I can say for about $80 and about six hours of work, the transformation is amazing. I mean, wow. I really, really love it. Hey, I really appreciate you all sticking around for this video. If you liked it, then hit that thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification button if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. And you can always leave me a comment in the comment section. Until the next time, eight.